Reviewing part one, Colton Shoot, what is part one all about? Stuff we did on Friday with unit multipliers was dealt with what? What's that? Converting what? Who's talking? Who's giving me this information? Please, somebody tell me they have some sort of an inkling. What we did on uh, Friday. Let's say you're converting three feet squared into square inches. What was the highlight? Of Friday's math class besides the end of it. Yeah. Um, they wanted you to include the ratio of parameters area or something like that. I think that was more than that was longer ago, I think, than that. What is the key to converting area? Because most people would go, that's 36, isn't it? If you have three feet squared, isn't that 36 inches squared because there's 12 inches in a foot? And to which I said, no, unfortunately, the logic there kind of falls apart a little bit because of what reason? Alec Bowman. Uh, I do agree with you. There are multiple steps in this completely. But what do I need to do? What, do, what should stick in your mind? People, wake up here. If I have to be awake, you have to be awake, that's what I mean. College, college professor of the whole class. He did say that. It does make sense. It makes a lot more sense if you're actually paying attention. Oh, you have to take a nice class. When you have three feet squared, you have to draw multiple really labels. Boring. Thank you. If it's area, unit multipliers get doubled. Ray, are you with me here? Eye contact is important. When, when I hit the big points here, eye contact is important. Feet squared is double the label feet, so when you change it into inches, you need double the unit multipliers, because one inch, one of the inch unit multipliers, are right. One, each of the feet need to cross off with one of the feet down there. So instead of it being 36, it actually ends up being yeah, that should have been one. Three times twelve times twelve. 144 times three, which is what? Mm -hmm. 432? Yes. Is it? I don't know. Let's see. Four hundred thirty-two inches squared. Now that was area. Volume is a different thing, not totally different, but a little different. If I have, um, what do I have? That's not done. If I had five um, yards cubed and I wanted to change that into feet cubed, the answer is not 15. It is not 15. Because in a cubic yard, there's a lot more than just one cubic foot. What do we have to do when it talk when it comes to terms of the volume? You need to do three unimultipliers because this is cubed. In other words, it looks like five yards times yards times yards. That's what a yard cubed is. And you have to multiply this by three unit multipliers that have yards on the bottom and feet on top. This, by the way, is review. This isn't startling information that we haven't talked about. How many feet are in the yard? Three. So the actual answer to that is going to be five times what? Five times 27. Which is what? You should really do that one. Right? 135 feet Cubed. 
again, this is not the new part, this is just reviewing the old. So when you convert area, you think what, Morgan Richards? Doubling. Thank you. And when you think volume fill hands out, you think tripling. Not triple E. Triple N. Now to today's part. Um, multiple unimultipliers uh, when it comes to changing more than one measurement. Check this out. I think this is something that you could amaze and astound your friends with at some point. Write down this problem. Convert, not convert, because that's a different thing. Um, $12 per hour, two cents per minute. $12 per hour. And I want to make that cents per minute. Let's see if we can't walk through this together. My first step is going to be to do what, Zach Rice? I did that already. First step after writing the problem, but that would be the new first step. Second step, Zach Rice. All right, so we're okay. First thing we have to do with this is what? First thing, what? Caroline. This was coming. Write down the given fraction, which is what? What is my given ratio? Well, you need to label it. It's not just 12 over 1, it is. We need to put twelve dollars. Not over one, but over one hour. One hour. Where did I get that fraction from? It was given me twelve dollars per hour. Okay, now here's the beauty, children. I am not only just changing the dollars into cents, but I'm also changing the hours into minutes. Okay, so you're going to need two unimultipliers here, one to take each step, and it doesn't matter which step you do first. Okay, if you want to change dollars first, then go ahead and do that. Well, if the dollar sign is up here, where does it go? Down here. What am I changing dollars into? Cents. And you're going to have to know how many cents make up a dollar. Let's just try that. Okay, 100 cents makes one dollar. So effectively now, I can cross off my dollars because I've now changed it into cents. It is 1,200 cents per hour. You don't have to figure that out just, just yet. But the other label that needs to be changed, I wanted to go from uh, dollars to cents, but I also wanted to change hours into minutes. My hours was down here, so where does my hours go over there? On the top. I'm changing hours into minutes. And hopefully you know how many minutes are in an hour, Sam Poppin. 60. It's been a long break for Mr. Poppin. <laughs> okay, so now my hours cross off. My label has now changed to what I want. I have cents on top over minutes. I just need to do the math, and the math should be relatively easy. You can cross cancel if you like. 
Uh, you can multiply it out and then divide, doesn't matter. You're going to get 1,200 over 60. Cross off the zeros, 120 divided by 6 is. You get 20, what am I left with for a label? Cents per, if you want to write it out like this, it's fine, minute, or if you want to do it as 20 cents over one minute, okay? It takes all the guesswork out of it. There's not a lot of thinking. You're just looking at crossing out labels. Take it one step at a time. Handle. Um, can you just do 12 times... Uh, Questions on that? Here's another one. How about changing um, one gallon per day to quarts per hour? One gallon per day. And I want to change that to how many quarts per hour? give you a shot at doing that. Gallons per day into quarts per hour. It's not going to be a pretty answer, mind you, because if you're only using one gallon in a whole day, there's a lot of hours in a day as opposed to quarts in a gallon. With Charlie? Um, Colton? Um, Holly? Um, I'll have to check and see. Holly, what did you cross off first? Um, <coughs> so the gallons went on bottom? Yeah. And you're changing it into quarts? Yeah. And you know there are four quarts in one gallon, correct? So gallons have now been changed to quarts. Now I need to change days. Since it's on the bottom here, days is going to have to go on the top. And I'm changing days into hours, which there are 24 hours in one day. Okay. There's my, I get quarts per hour, I just need to end up with 1 times 4 times 4 is 4 quarts over 24 hours. It does reduce to 1 over 6, and really, the, the way to say it is the way Holly said it, you don't really usually say 1 quart for every 6 hours, you say it's 1 sixth, just make this the fraction of a quart per hour. This would be one way to say it, but usually when you have a fraction there, you make the fraction, then you just say quarts per hour. A question there if you didn't catch that, or why you didn't get that. Probably just messed up over here. Somewhere. One more, they say. One more. How about um, 10 yards per second to feet per minute? 10 yards per second to feet per minute. Yards per second to feet per minute.
10 yards per second is going to be how many feet per minute, interestingly enough. Nate says... Um, 1,800 feet per second. 1,800? I don't know. Have yes. you done it? Nate, which one did you, which one did you convert for a second through yards? Um, I converted um, uh, yards. So we put yards down here, correct? And you're changing yards into feet, so there's the unit multiplier there. Three feet in one yard. Yards are gone. Yes. Now I need to change seconds, have to go on top, into minutes, and there are 60 seconds in one minute. So now my seconds have been changed. 1 times 1 on the bottom is 1, and 10 times 3 times 16 is 1,800 feet per minute. Again, stopping there if you have 